Hello friends, this is Dr. Sandeep Karnakran, Clinical Director, Medicover Fertility India. And today, we are going to touch upon a very important surgical procedure, which we do, not for females, but for males, that is surgical sperm retrieval. By convention, when a person is azoospermic, that is, he is not ejaculating any sperms in his ejaculate, then we call the person as azoospermia or azoospermic. And in this case, we resort to surgical methods, namely surgical sperm retrieval to extract sperms directly from his testis or his appendages. So what are the procedures that are constituted in under the surgical sperm retrieval? We have a procedure called TISA, that is testicular sperm extraction, or PISA, that is uh, percutaneous epididymal sperm extraction aspiration or microtesi that is microscopic testicular sperm extraction. With all these procedures the aim is to go one level higher that is not the ejaculate but retrieve sperms directly from its source. PISA and TISA are generally simpler procedures which are like FNAC that is fine needle aspiration cytology wherein under anesthesia a needle is inserted into the testis or the epididymis and with the help of suction we extract sperms or we rather get testicular tissue or epididymal tissue and sperms are extracted from these tissue in the, micros in, un in the laboratory under dissection microscope. When it comes to microtesi, we have to do a slightly adventurous or an invasive procedure wherein the testis is split open and areas of spermatogenesis are identified under a microscope. Biopsies are taken from these areas and spermatozoa are extracted from these seminiferous tubules that have been given to the embryologist from by the surgeon. Now, what do we do once we get the sperm? Of course, we can time it or synchronize it with the lady's pickup and use it directly for insemination or else we can store it. Storing can be done in, with the help of vials or in cases or uh, certain cases with the help of sperm VD devices wherein it can be extracted or reused whenever the time is correct that is whenever the lady is undergoing pickup. The only sort of caveat that one has to remember when we undergo a surgical sperm retrieval is there is no role for conventional IVF procedure or conventional insemination, but we must compulsorily do ICSI for these procedures. Over a period of time, the indications have also broadened for these surgical sperm uh, procedures, so surgical sperm retrieval procedures, I mean, namely, increased DFI happens to be one of them. That is, whenever there is high index of DNA fragmentation, it is prudent to extract sperms right from the source. And it, the studies reveal that the DNA fragmentation of testicular sperms is much less than the ejaculated sperms. Also, in cases of severe OAT, that is oligoastinoteratosospermia or cryptosospermia, we can resort to these procedures too. So, if a person is azoospermic, or has a severely depleted count, one needn't lose hope. There is still hope in terms of surgical sperm retrieval techniques to father a child. Thank you.